Newton's third law of motion. Newton's third law of motion states, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This third law always comes in pairs and is related to the force or push and pull upon an object. If you have two objects, one is doing the pushing and one is doing the pulling, no matter how little the objects are moving. And sometimes you can really see an action and a reaction. In Florida, at the Kennedy Space Center, scientists use rockets to launch space shuttles into orbit. When the rockets fire, the exhaust from the rocket moves downward while the rocket moves upward. Without this law of motion, the space shuttle would never have lifted off the ground and we would never have landed on the moon. The force of action and reaction working together caused the shuttle to launch. You can't have one without the other. Want to see another example of Newton's third law? What do you notice? This time, let's slow things down and see if we can identify the action and reaction force. Did you notice that the cannon moved backward when the cannonball shot forward? That backward movement is the cannon's reaction to the action of shooting the cannonball, just like with the space shuttle. Newton also noticed that the amount of force on the first object always equaled the amount of force on the second object. In other words, the forces of action and reaction are always equal. That means if a boxer punches a punching bag with 50 pounds of force, that punching bag will also hit the boxer's fist with 50 pounds of force. Ouch! If the boxer only gives 10 pounds of force with his fist, his fist gets 10 pounds of force in return. And if he gives 5 pounds of force, he'll get 5 pounds of force back. So, if the forces of action and reaction are always equal, how do you think this is going to end? Oh, maybe don't try that one at home. Now that you know about actions and reactions, think about the many reactions we cause every day. Let's talk about one last thing. Have you ever tried to move a heavy piece of furniture like a couch? And did you wonder why it takes a minute for the couch to start moving? This is because of something called static friction. When you apply horizontal force from your body, the floor is actually applying frictional force to the same object. This continues until the object starts to move and then sliding friction happens. Sliding friction is the same sensation that you get when you rub your hands together really fast and generate heat. You don't have to push something as hard to keep it moving when you reduce the friction. The less friction you have, the less energy you use. So, the next time you're jumping on a trampoline or even sitting in a chair, think about Newton's third law. Turns out there are actions and reactions happening everywhere you look. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.